Today we're northeastern Iowa on uh, August 28th, 2012, and we are uh, once again out in the cornfields looking at crops conditions via prior to harvest. Uh, it is uh, this past weekend this farm picked up over three inches of rain, which is probably the largest rainfall that has been uh, come down at one time this whole growing season. And we are looking at the various um, types of corn and just the variability we have seen. But one of the things that we haven't really talked much about that's becoming more noticeable as I've been walking through the fields is this crop is starting to mature and dry down. Uh, you can certainly see on the ears, you know, once again we've talked about the amount of uh, corn that did not pollinate at the tip of the ear and that's certainly present here as you can see. But one of the things I've noticed as I've been pulling back some of the, the shucks on the corn here is how fragile the corn, the ear is attached to the, the plant. And I have um, taken several ears and as I have taken that back, it's become to the point where it almost will fall off. In fact, it has fallen off. And on this ear here, if I just take and, and see if I can just shake this ear, it's, this one stands pretty decent. You go to the next one here, it just fell and probably didn't see it, but it just fell off. Um, this one here, look at this one, it's standing, but it doesn't take much and it snaps right off. And I've noticed that um, all throughout, as I've walked in this field especially, that it, it doesn't take much. And if we were to get a big storm, you can see on the ground here, the ears that have fallen off as I have uh, taken the, the, the husk off of the plant. So I think farmers are going to have to be aware of this. It may not, it may not turn out to be a, a significant item, but it, certainly if we were to get any kind of heavy wind as this crop begins to dry down, and of course obviously the drier it gets, the more fragile it will be. Once again, we're going to have to keep an eye on this so that we can uh, preserve what crop we do have out here and not have corn laying on the ground down below.